Right, hi everyone. So this is the last example for the class two, for this uh, third lesson. So we've got parametric. What's the equation of the normal? So I want to find the gradient of the tangent first. So I need to differentiate, don't I? So x is t squared minus t. The x dt is 2t minus 1. And y is t squared plus 3t plus 1. So dy dt is 2t plus 3. So dy by dx is dy by dt, which is 2t plus 3 divided by dx by dt, which is 2t minus 1. Right then, so I want it when t is 1. So for t is 1, dy by dx is 2 lots of 1 plus 3 is 5, 2 lots of 1 minus 1 is 1, so it's just 5. Remember, that's the tangent. So the normal has a gradient of minus one fifth. There. Right, so now I need that. Oh, I don't need the coordinates. So for t is one, from the original equation, so make sure it's the original equation, that's going to be zero. Uh, what are we on? One squared, three lots of one plus one is five. Well, that has to be from the original x equals and y equals to work. So that gives me a coordinate of not 5. So it's just y minus 5 is minus a fifth x minus nothing. There. Does it ask it for any, any specific way? Uh, no, so that's fine. But then it says... Find where the normal intersects the curve again. Oof, right, so for that, it's probably easier to rearrange it. So we need to sub these back into the equation. Right, so let's have a look. Let's just have a little rearrange of this equation. Um, we'll put it up here. So intersects again. So if you look at your... I see it, we're in because this here. If you look at your equation, if I multiply through by 5, I have a 5y minus 25 is minus x. So I could say that 5y plus x is 25, or, or x plus 5y, whichever way you want to do it really. I guess it looks nicer if the x is at the front, but it doesn't really matter. Now what I need to do then is replace, because I've still got to find the t, haven't I, for this? So I'm going to go back and it's a fine t. So I'm going to replace with the original equation. So it's five lots of t squared. So we've done this before where we've replaced. And then t squared minus t. So I've got five t squared plus 15t plus five. We've got t squared minus t plus 25. So the t squareds give me six t squared. The t's give me 14. Then I've got a 5, I've got a minus 20 now. I'll have to make sure that that's right. Yeah, that's cool. Stick it in poly. Gives me t is 1, which I've used, or t is minus 10 over 3. So that one's good. We've got that one. So I want the other one, which is t is minus 10 over 3. So if I sub that into the x, so remember I want the coordinates of so the x. So that would be minus 10 over 3 on that. I've got time on that. Minus 10 over 3 squared minus a minus 10 over 3. Uh, so that's going to give me 130 over 9 according to the completed pack. And then for the y value, whew, so we're all okay with this. It's not a lot to it really. Uh, so it's t squared, so minus 10 over 3 squared. Then plus 3 lots of minus 10 over 3 plus 1 which is uh, 19 over 9. So the coordinates are 130 over 9, comma 19 over 9, where it meets again. And I reckon that's it. That's going to be the end of that one. So more of those. More of them to have a go out on the consoles, if it works. Right. So well done, everybody. Bye-bye.